Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Maintain Me resource channel. This is Morgan Jenkins, and I'm the director. And hi, I'm Chelsea. I'm the owner with Maintain Me. Today, we want to talk about an article we recently read by Jason Kane that was published by PBS. Um, he highlights a, a poll done by the Associated Press NORC Center for Public Affairs Research, in which the conclusion is that Americans are seriously unprepared for long term care. So they're not planning, they, uh, they're not talking about their family's needs or preferences. Um, they're not even looking at their own needs or preferences for, for long term care. Why do you think that is, Chelsea, or what does the article tell us? Yeah, absolutely. So to quote the article, uh, I think a lot of people believe that Medicare has their backs. Uh, so what's that mean? They said close to half or 44% um, expect Medicare to pay for ongoing care at home by a licensed home care aid. Uh, so I wanted to just briefly touch on this a little bit and kind of demyth that theory uh, that the only time that Medicare pays for care is when there has been a change of condition. Uh, Medicare never pays for home care services, which examples may be um, bathing, dressing, uh, you know, light housekeeping, uh, let's see, maybe some errands such as uh, picking up food or groceries, medications, as well as preparation of food and meals. So those things are never paid for. By Medicare. Um, so Morgan, uh, can you please quote a little bit more about the second myth of the uh, Medicare has your back from the article? Yeah, it was interesting to read that 37%, so 44% think Medicare pays for home care, 37% believe that it, it covers a nursing home. And nursing homes, the most expensive level of care, actually. Um, but what, what does Medicare cover? Does it cover a nursing home, Chelsea? Yeah, great. So Medicare does step in for some nursing home care levels, but that comes in a way of rehab. So say someone goes to the hospital and then they need to be go through rehabilitation or uh, physical therapy or occupational therapy, there's been a change in condition, Medicare will pay for that. However, if somebody is going to a nursing home because they need long-term care uh, needs, such as same thing, bathing, dressing, uh, maybe they can't manage at home anymore, this is no longer a covered thing. This is a private pay living situation. So um, Morgan had recently been looking into nursing home costs for a private pay uh, in Lakewood down here in Denver. And she said it was $284 a night. And that isn't for a private room. That was a semi-private. So meaning you share this with another person, um, same bathroom. Um, you're lucky if you, you kind of get a, a dividing curtain of some sort uh, and you're paying $284 a night. So I think one of the biggest things that we wanted to talk about, I mean, this article was incredible. Um, it's real and we need to start talking about what that means. And Medicare is not going to pay for these things. Um, we're gonna go through kind of a series of different things pulling from this article and trying to educate people um, about, you know, why, why should you not rely on Medicare or um, some other topics that we're gonna be discussing. So follow us, keep following us. Uh, Medicare is not going to pay for these things, uh, so we need to start being prepared and plan. Uh, Medicare is there to come in when there's been a change of condition for a short period of time, and that's about it. So it's time to start planning and, um, and knowing that we have control over this and that we can, we can do this early on and start preparing for a better life. Awesome. Anything else, Morgan, that you have? No, I think we'll cover it in our next video. Thanks, Chelsea. All right. Bye, guys. Fair enough.